Well, you know, we always say that uh, every game starts on the mound. That's where it, where it begins, and it's largely affected by the performance of the guys that are pitching. And Trevin gave us a shot uh, from the outset and, you know, throughout eight innings, and uh, and we felt he would, and that's why he started today. We felt like, you know, he wouldn't hurt himself and uh, give us an opportunity to win the ball game. Well, I, it was a well-pitched ball game by both kids. Uh, the Gonzalez kid was outstanding. He beat us last week. Uh, and, you know, in those type ball games, one run is a lot. You know, it's like five or six in another type ball game probably. And to get two of the big uh, double from Spencer got us going. Uh, we had good play all across. But once again, it starts on the mound. Both kids pitched well. They both they probably deserve to win. Uh, we just got a few more timely hits. Well, what we try to do is try to not pay too much attention to the scoreboard and, and think about what we need to execute. And, and we feel like if we can execute things, be tough at the plate, put the ball in play, move runners, move runners over, uh, that that score maybe will take care of itself a little bit. But once again, it starts on the mound. So, you know, we need a good pitching performance out of the gates uh, tomorrow. So uh, we're just trying to always trying to improve our team. Well, you know, when you get hits like that, and that's part of baseball, you see those type things turn into rallies often. Uh, and, you know, when that happens, it's very deflating to the pitcher and the defense. And there seems to be, for some reason in this game, uh, the way things go, whether it's a, a, a loss of focus or just the mo a new sense of momentum that, that occurs. And, and so, yeah, we were, we were obviously hoping uh, – that would get something going, and we pinch hit Conrad because he, he generally doesn't swing at bad pitches. He's got a good eye. He's a great competitor, and, and we thought he'd give us a good chance to get on. Yeah, I mean, the three-ball count, I was just, you know, trying to calm down, settle in, try to get that first strike. Once you get the first strike, I feel like it's, you know, it's pretty uh, pretty easy from there, I guess. But uh, you just got to get the first strike, and then you're on your way. Uh, yeah, I mean, my approach when I pitch is to always try to keep it uh, below, uh, right at the knees or even a little bit lower, you know, because uh, I'm from Vegas and the ball doesn't fly like out here. So figure if uh, you keep it down below the knees, you try to get more, the most uh, ground balls you can get and hopefully uh, you'll stay uh, away from those big hits and those rally starters. Just try to keep them calm, coming right at me. Um, just keep his mechanics in check, keep the ball down. He did a good job at it. Move the guy or what? Yeah, I was trying to get a pitch out over the outer half, trying to move him to get him to second at least. Luckily, got to drive it. And kind of it. Chase is great with pressure. You look at his batting average with runners in scoring position or runners on, uh, it's a whole different world to what his daily batting average is. I mean, he's he's a kid that elevates uh, when the moment gets bigger. You know, um, being a two way guy, I get, I uh, know what it's like, uh, you know, trying to, trying to go up to the plate, trying to hit. You guys are trying to scratch for runs, and you know, sometimes it's just tough. Like today, I mean, I don't try to do anything I wouldn't do if I was out in the field. I would just, I mean, I trust those guys to go out there and, you know, hit the, hit good pitches and, you know, try to work for us. And it's a, it's a team thing. We all, we all kind of get where we're trying to do uh, the best as we can and. You know, you just got to trust your guys out there. Handle the attaboy. I don't think we addressed that. All we did with the guys really was just explain to them. We gave them the lay of the land. Here are the possibilities. This is how things work. This is what we need to do. And then we go work on what we need to do. And the other stuff, we don't really have control over. So um, that was more or less the message, would you say? Something like that. Well, I think it's working right now. You know, uh, Chase is playing a very good shortstop. And, you know, it puts Farmer back at his original position last year. Um, you know, uh, Chase, had, you know, turns the double play quicker than anybody at second base. That's one of the primary reasons we had him there. And we can still do that. Um, but, I mean, this is working right now. And uh, we'll probably stick with it. But we could change. We'll see what our needs are. No question. And, uh, you know, the beautiful thing about this team and these guys is I don't think anybody really cares where they play uh, they want to play and if they don't play we're getting great support out of the dugout and we have guys that are staying engaged and ready to go and and i mean that's what we ask them to do we we challenge them to do and uh 
you know, it's a team thing at this point. We challenge them to forget about batting averages, ERAs, all those things, because they don't really matter now. Uh, they speak to the past and not where we're going. And, you know, it's not any one individual's job to, to win. It, it's a collective group, and they need to play for each other. Yeah, it was exciting when he came in, you know, done great all year. So the confidence in him, and then he works hard on the mound, shows his conviction, can really feel him out there. So you know, when he comes in, the whole team feels confident. And their dugout was getting loud once they scratched that one run across. So it was nice to see him shut him down. That was number two. Is it? Got a pretty good poutine now. <laughs> yeah, no, those guys are in there for 10 minutes doing that. <laughs> they getting all pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we just have great respect for Dixie and the other teams in this tournament. I mean, Dixie played great. Uh, we're getting to know each other really well now, you know, especially when you play teams late in the year. So we tip our cap to them because that was a good contest. Could have gone either way.